Hey guys, John Rettinger here, and I want to give you an overview of the new Twitterific Twitter client for the iPhone and iPod Touch, just updated this week by the Icon Factory. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's the icon, it's that little bird. We'll go ahead and click it. And it really is a complete makeover of the old client. The old client needed a lot of work. This one actually seems relatively refined. So the first thing you'll notice is you get a Twitter counter with how many new tweets have shown up since you last loaded the application, which is very cool. So you can scroll up and view your tweets just in a list from all the friends that you have. Any personal messages that you have will show up in a color or any at replies. Let's see if we can find, a, find one there. So there's an at reply. You can see that it's different and it makes it easy to follow. Now on any of these, let's say there's a tweet from Andrea, you can double click it. And it pulls up a pretty decent amount of information about, oh there's Matt Sinto, it pulls up a pretty decent, different, decent amount of information about him. So let me show you something first here. So we'll click this just once. You'll notice that I have a few rows of icons across the bottom. I've got a back, I can reply back to him, a new star icon, or that little kind of twirly guy. I'll show you what both all those do. But first, let's hit the star. And this pulls up a very new menu items. So we can view threaded messages. So if I've been having a threaded conversation with at replies with this person for a while, I can hit that and it'll just show up in one window, which is actually quite nice. I've got an author, it'll show me about the author. It's a little dad, it'll show me all about Andrea Tunes and where he's from, how many followers, updates in the last eight seconds, where he is, you can choose to follow, unfollow, or block. Everything that he has replied to people, you can star it, or you can even leave a little message that'll just show up on your phone about this person. So you can say, Andrea lives in Italy, is a law student, and it won't show up anywhere else but your phone in case you need to remember a little note about the person. It actually is kind of handy and kind of cool. And if you want to reply or send a note to him, you can just hit the bubble on the bottom. So we'll go back. Let me show you some other things that show up when you hit the star. So now you also have the at author. So that'll just pull up a message that'll let you at reply. And I'll show you all the at replies that have been sent to the author, which is kind of neat. We also have a retweet. So it makes retweeting very easy. So if you want to retweet that message that you selected, hit retweet and it's nice and easy. If you want to add a link, you can hit a link right there. If you want to star it as a favorite, or if you want to put a check mark next to it, or if you want to even send a message to that person, a personal email or a direct message. Let's go ahead and hit cancel. They also have that little weird icon. Go ahead and hit that. And what that does, it shows you, first if you have any marked tweets, it shows you your at replies, it'll show you your direct messages, any star messages you have show you all the messages that you've sent and any check messages that you have. So if that was even enough, it still would have been great. Those are fantastic updates and really things that the last client didn't have. But there's also some new things that we have in here as well. At the top left corner, you have a thing called sources and the top right, you can now change your font. So if you go ahead and select font, you can make it giant, tiny, or I consider it to be a normal size font. So go back to sources and I'll show you what you can view here. You can view a public timeline of all Twitter tweets. You can view all of your tweets. You can do a quick search now. You can view people Twittering nearby. It'll use the GPS if you're using an iPhone. You can learn about Twitterific. And you can also check recent trends that are being tweeted about right at this moment. It really is a very cool full feature client. And this one actually is free. It, there are some ads that show up in there. And there is one that you can pay that will remove the ads. but for me, I don't mind looking at an ad or two. I think it's a fantastic iPhone Twitter client. It's definitely worth checking out if you guys haven't already. Just wanted to give you guys an overview of Twitterific. Let me know what you think about it, if you're using it and you like it. If you're using another Twitter client for your iPhone or iPod Touch, what you think is better or worse about it. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. This is John Rettinger with uh, a review for you of Twitterific. For exclusive content, most appropriately, check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 I just woke up and I'm going to go eat some breakfast. Here, And I want to give you a demo of the new Twitterific iPhone or an iPod Touch quarter client. Quitter client.